Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 11 of our Timberborn playthrough. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older videos. But don't worry, we'll go through a quick recap here, and then we'll get into episode 11. So, in episode 10, we worked on a bunch of stuff. We worked on getting our mushroom production set up. So we got these uh, hydroponic gardens, making us some ferment, making us not fermented mushrooms, regular mushrooms. Uh, about 45 every 192 hours, so they do take a while. We're probably going to want more than this. We also worked on setting up our new water diversion area. Um, that way this entire space can remain a freshwater res reservoir um, for the duration. Um, but this isn't going to go into full effect until we uh, also work on some other stuff, which we might get started on today. Um, but I would like them to finish that dam just for now. So that I can see if it's, so that I can see if four wide is going to be enough space to divert the water. We might have to go five wide, um, in which case we'll need to do a little bit more dynamiting and it'll be a whole thing. But anyway, that's that. So what are we going to work on today? Well, today I would like to set up, at least get the bones created for our uh, fermenters. And then also hopefully finish up this dam so that we can start to uh, plant down here, plant some cassava. Um, so it might be beneficial to actually start dynamiting some of this away. So might as well get that connected and then we can uh, start to put some dynamite up here. Now, do we have extract being made? We do. Uh, we do not have extract storage in this district. So we're going to need to get some of that. So let's put in maybe three platforms right there. And then if we go in and we get some, I think just three of these single storage facilities for the extract will be plenty. Um, well, I mean, maybe not plenty, but it, it'll be enough. So let's get, uh, let's get that built because I would like to start getting some of this extract transferred over. I think that that would be really good. Do we want to start dynamiting? I think getting the mushrooms up and running first is our priority. So let's let's do that. So in order to do that, we need to get rid of both of these so that we can put in... That's going to need to be a triple, and that's going to need to be a quad. And those need to get built ASAP. So let's go ahead and go into triple speed. We'll get this running. And uh, then we'll kind of be off to the races here. Um, they are, it does look like this is prioritized. That's okay, it's almost done. Um, but these should be able to get built pretty quick because they're just logs. And then they'll come back over and keep working on the dam. Um, I don't think I want them to be walking over here because I don't want it to get, uh, let's see, are they walking out onto the dam? I can't really tell. I don't know. If we get a beaver stuck, so be it. Probably won't survive. <laughs> That'll be okay. But uh, let's hopefully get these done. Yeah, we're starting to get the power done, which is good. Um, so this is going to need a vertical power shaft, and then that'll be all hooked up, which will be good, because I am worried that we're going to break this when the time comes to actually flood this area. Um, that is a concern of mine. They managed to not get these done in a whole day. What are these beavers doing? Maybe we got 43 vacancies, which is just not, uh, it's not great. Not great. And our food is, is starting to not do too, too good. Um, that's why we really want to get these fermenters up and running. So we still have time. Uh, these are at 65. Yeah, it looks like the bottom row is at about 60% and the top row is about 20 um, so that's okay. It's not uh, it's not the best, but it is what it is. We could probably go ahead and uh, map out our next set of hydroponics, um, and probably just go ahead and get this platform in here with a path like that. And then we could probably fit something in here, maybe some more mushroom storage, because I think we've got. Mushroom, mushroom. Yes, yeah, so four mushroom storages and then two fermented mushroom storages. I don't know. We'll have to see how that balances out um, and see if it actually is a good balance. Uh, I feel like we might need more fermented mushroom storage, but that's kind of a it's kind of a not right now problem. 
Um, and then let's go ahead and we're going to get three sets of fermenters in here. These will be for fermented mushrooms, which do not require oil if we go back in here. So the, the soybeans, the fermented soybeans do require oil, uh, but the fermented mushrooms and cassavas do not. So we'll have three of these going for now. I think that'll be, that'll be decent. Uh, it'll be decent enough. And why don't we get, uh, let's get those built as a priority. Um, and then do we want to get these hydroponic gardens going? Maybe, uh, maybe we do. We'll have to see, we'll have to see how this works. Because we are starting to run out of cassava, and I do want to plant this whole area with cassava. Um, and let's see, did they get these built? Yes, they did, and we're starting to get some extract in, which is perfect. Um, so we want to get those built, and then I think I'll have them start working on this, uh, this dynamite, maybe a little bit. Um, it doesn't really need to be built, like, instantly, but I, I do think uh, getting them to work on this just here and there will help because I do want to get rid of this whole thing so that we can fully cover this area in the cassava. I think that that would be really beneficial. Um, also, this could be paused because we're getting water uh, flowing. So 28 vacancies here, 13 up here. I might do another population transfer. So we'll go into our menu up here and go to manual migration. I'm going to send them 10. So now we have 18 vacancies here, um, which means we do have a full hauling post, and then 23 vacancies up here. But again, this is not as this is not as crucial. Um, although we do need to start maxing these out because they're not maxed out yet. So I need to keep that in mind. All right, so let's get these built. Um, again, we still have time. It's about 80% on the mushrooms, but I do want to get those produced as soon as possible. Um, yeah, we did lose power, so I, I do really want to get that linked in. Oh, priorities. Everything is a priority, therefore nothing is a priority. We are working on this, though. That's good. These guys can just kind of keep doing their thing. Really, Whirlberg is the priority right now, and got some beavers struggling for water, which doesn't really make sense because we have a ton of water. Um... All right, so are these getting done? Yes, they are. Slowly but surely. I almost wonder, do we have... Yeah, we've got max staff on the builders. we got eight in here. Um, I would add another one, but we really don't have the population for it. So, you know, it's not... Uh, it's not a massive priority. Um, but once we get this third fermenter built... Yeah, so we're going to have three fermenters. I think... I think that'll be enough for now. I could always add more um, if needed, but I think for now that'll be okay. Um, I could always expand the, the fermenter area if needed, um, but I think we'll be okay. And we're starting to get a little, the, the water is kind of intermittently flowing. Uh, and it's kind of, it's kind of odd, but I think it, I think it's okay. Yeah, we were just struggling with our population a little bit, but, you know, we'll get there. We will get there. Kind of running out of logs up here, which kind of makes sense because we are just blowing through them. Um, and they're also trying to, you know, build planks and gears and all that stuff. So logs are being very heavily utilized up here. Um, I do think that we'll probably need... Yeah, we do need to fill out these... District crossing. So let's bring these up to six. Six each. Just kind of progressively add beavers to them. I know that we don't really have the population for it, but that's okay. Alright, so what do we want to work on now? I really want to get this power hooked up. Because we keep stalling out our, um, our power. Because this keeps stalling just because of the intermittent water. And I can't really figure out why the water is acting that way, but I think just getting this built real quick it shouldn't take them that long. Um, but I do think that that would help us. Have we gotten our first set of mushrooms? No. So we're at about 90%. Um, I do think after they get the power built, we're going to build these other three hydroponic gardens. 
Um, and I can imagine this just being a huge tower of hydroponic gardens, quite honestly. I, I, I think that that would actually be of benefit to us. Um, all right. So this is starting to get cut off. It does look like four, an opening of four will be enough. Yeah. And I actually, I think that this is going to work really well. So we'll just have to see. Are they keeping up with the logs? No, the logs are continuing to go down. Um, it just kind of is what it is. I think because we don't have full sets here and because they're worried about transferring so much other stuff, I don't know. It's working. It's working one way or another. But okay, 91% on the mushrooms. And we're getting the power built, which is good. And all of this should be reachable. Yes, it is. So we just really need to get this built so then we don't... Yeah, because see, look, it just keeps... It's just intermittent, the water flow. I don't really know. I wonder, like, is it... Are we pumping too much water? I don't know. It is what it is. It's it's working. Um, it's working as well as it can. And we definitely need more cassava, raw cassava production. We're not keeping up. I think having this whole area be cassava will be a huge benefit um, to us. But okay. So once this power gets hooked up, I think we're definitely going to want more mushrooms. I think that'll be good. Um, let's see, population. Yeah, we're... We're kind of dipping down. Looks like we had a little bit of a death wave, just a just a minor one. And we're, yeah, lacking workers, lacks power, building lacks materials. Oh yeah, so they need the mushrooms. So those alerts are fine, not overly important, but we are about to get our first set of mushrooms, 99%. And there we go, so we got mushrooms. So hopefully those get brought out. It looks like we're just past the work day. Um, but hopefully we should start to get some mushrooms produced. And if we were to get more storage, where could it go? I guess it could kind of go like right in here. Yeah, that would work actually. Um, so why don't we get some of those and then that would be one storage and then this would be a second storage so we could get two sets of storage right here for the fermented mushrooms and then obviously a shrub and then obviously roots <laughs> you gotta prioritize the aesthetics in the game you know what I mean like, if you're not prioritizing aesthetics, what, what are you really doing? Are you even playing the game? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I could actually delete these and add a connection right here. It would make it mildly, like, marginally shorter. Um, but I think that's okay. We are starting to get some fermented mushrooms, which is good. Um, yeah, they, they quadrupled them. They turned them into four. Are we out of mushrooms? Yes, we are. Completely out of mushrooms. We do need a lot of these hydroponic gardens. So now that they have the power done, what are they working on? They're working on the dam. Okay, the dam is important, um, but I think getting the mushrooms is more important. So let's get these built. These take metal blocks. Do we have metal blocks? We have 17, so we can actually build all three of these as long as we don't prioritize building anything else out of metal blocks. <laughs> uh, and the power being hooked up is great, because now whenever this freezes up, it shouldn't be an issue as long as we're not in a drought. Um, the only thing that we do need to remember now is that this power, this large power wheel, is actually hooked up to the main grid. So in the event of a drought, if we want to keep everything running, we're actually going to need to pause all of these so we can keep our food production running. Which is just kind of the way it's going to be. You know, there's, there's really nothing we can do about that. Um, it's just, it is the way it is. If that makes sense. 
And I guess I could kind of shimmy these around to get a little bit more storage in here if I really wanted to. So, like, if I got a double here, and so if I got doubles there, actually, no. I want them to be triples. Let's get rid of those. Let's go kind of tilt it up like this. A couple triples there. Um, we could put hydroponic gardens in here. I would just need to clear these two. Yeah, so let's clear these. Let's clear those. And then I'm going to have to delete this roof. Uh, and the rooftop terrace and this roof. A lot of deleting. I don't know if there's actually storage for all this, but there might be. Logs? We're actually completely out of logs. Oh, that's why the logs are struggling, because we are completely out, because we've been building dams. So let's open these back up. Um, that leaves us with 27 vacancies. 21 up here. Yeah, we got... We've got population issues. I am aware. Uh, I think you all are aware. Let's get these platforms built after this. We should come up here and grab these resources. Yeah, because we're building all this dam. And then we're building this huge dam, which is actually done. Um, and it looks like four is going to be plenty to manage this water. Which is perfect. I kind of want to... I know that we just said that we're building too many dams. Um, I kind of want to make a nice, clean break right here. Although, I guess it doesn't really matter because this is never going to be bad water. As long as we get this portion of the dam built in the interim. Um, but that'll kind of be a... that'll be a later problem. All right, so we need these to be mushrooms and they need to get hooked up, which means we need more wood. Wood is now a problem all of the sudden. Uh, I didn't really pay attention to that, but apparently, apparently it's a problem now. And they're building these, but if they just come and grab these resources. All right, here, let's drop this down for just a sec. Come grab the resources. Okay, and now that that is removed, we can get some double platforms here. And then we could actually build more hydroponic gardens on top of this. Um, and we could actually put our rooftop terrace back in. So let's delete this path and this path. We could, tuck a ro we could tuck a rooftop terrace in there. So there's no storage available for planks. Is that what all of this is? This is all logs. So now let's build this, just so we can get more of those up and running. Um, yeah, the mushrooms are going to take a while. Mushrooms are kind of finicky. You need a ton of mushroom production just because they're they're produced so intermittently um, that they kind of struggle to stockpile a ton of food. Um, but that being said, we'll get it done. We will get it done. And we have a drought inbound, um, which is interesting. I just realized we could actually store quite a bit of water up here. Um, I didn't even think about that. But this could be a whole second water storage area. It's not really the reason that I built it. Um, but it could totally function in that manner. And we've got so many planks. I'm just going to get rid of these. There was a log there. That's okay. Um, and then we're going to get more hydroponic gardens up here. So let's do one here and here. That'll be good. And then we can actually come in here with, we can put our rooftop terrace back in. Um, maybe like that. And then we can actually put a, just a two by two roof. Yeah, and I guess we'll do it that way. No. I don't really like the way that looks. Let's do this way. Yeah, that looks nicer. 
that looks nicer and making things look nice is obviously the priority in all of my playthroughs if you guys haven't realized that by now um you just haven't really been paying attention <laughs> 37 vacancies oh my goodness all right send them another 10 now it's down to 27 that should be all haulers three active yeah we're just making too many jobs <laughs> We're about to set up a huge farm down here, creating even more jobs. Um, I guess we really don't need all of these water pumpers going right now. Um, it's not a huge priority, just because we have so much... Um, yeah. But man, these are just... <clears throat> All right, I feel kind of comfortable. We got the mushroom production up and running, at least to some degree. So now I think finishing this dam and starting work on the dynamite is our next priority. So they'll keep working on the dam, they'll work on some of these stairs, and then I think we're going to be okay. How are we doing for wood up here? We got 210. So I think what we can start to do um, is we can... Let's start demolishing some of this. So let's demolish these two. Tell them to come get these logs, because that's 18 logs right there that we don't want to leave behind. So we'll just kind of walk this back as we go. And let's just make sure our water storage is set up for this drought. It is. So I think I'll start to store a little bit of water in here. So let's bring this up to two and a half. May have done that too late. Not sure. Um, but let's demolish this. Come pick up those logs. And then once that's all picked up, demolish this. Have them come pick up those 18. And then we need to start to walk our way down. So I think what we'll do is let's... I want this to be nice and symmetrical. So let's bring this out to here. And then we'll start to walk down. Like this. And we'll essentially just carry that on all the way down this hill until we meet in this uh, in this waterway. And I think just to be safe, we will come all the way out here so what that needs to be three high is that correct no this needs to be too high like that so that's nice and symmetrical now I, I yeah i'm gonna have to dynamite out some of this unfortunately so if we come over here i think this needs to be double dynamite or maybe i'll do triples just to, uh, you know, better safe than sorry. So let's get this done, and that will be double as well. And that should really open this up. And I don't know if they can reach all of this, like this one. I'm not sure if they can reach. Um, we might... We might need to do, like, some stairs right here. Even then, I don't know if they can reach all of these. Well, let's just see. We'll see if they can do it. Um, we did get some water stored here. Okay, excellent. So we actually have a ton of water. Um, and I actually do want to see if I leave this at two and a half. I wonder how that's going to affect our um, production right here. So let's pause all of these. Because we're going to get this operational so that we can continue to produce food. Let's see, 25 vacancies here, 6 up here. Ooh, that's pretty good. Send them 10. So now 16 and 15. Much more balanced. Alright, and I don't know if they can build this one. But once they get these stairs done, that should be able to tell me. No, they cannot. Um, Alright, let's delete that. And... Let's build just a platform right there. And 
let's start to dynamite this out. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think I'm, I think I am going to clean it up just as we go. I think that that makes sense. And let's bring these pads out here and then we'll, we'll have some stairs coming down. No storage for planks, obviously. And then what does this need to be? Triple dynamite. So we need triples there. Um, and then... And then I actually kind of... Let's extend this out. So let's do something like that. I just think that looks nicer. And then we'll have stairs coming down each of these with pads. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll probably dynamite here to make that nice and square, and then maybe somewhere like right here. Cool. All right. So the dynamite is being put in. Excellent. Let's detonate that. I wonder, can he reach that? Yes, he can. Okay. And then we'll need dynamite there as well. And then we'll need to dynamite out from underneath this platform. All right. And I think this is going to work really nice to uh, divert, divert some of that water. Speaking of diverting water, let's go ahead and release a little bit of our dam. Get that going. This dam is coming along, which is good. They actually got these stairs done, so we'll be ready to start the dynamite here. And let's see, we're getting a little bit of an overflow. What's our cue to uh, shut that off? May have done it a little bit too late. We are getting the mushrooms. Um, I don't believe, I think we're out of metal blocks. Do they have any metal blocks here? 10, so they could actually get both of those done. Have just enough. Um, 15 vacancies and 17. I think that's okay. Got plenty of water up here, plenty of extract, um, and plenty of explosives. So we are definitely ready to dynamite. Um, we're just not quite there yet. Just because there's no point in really starting to dynamite this out until we get this dam up and running. That's going to be the priority. How's our food looking? Food's looking okay. We are burning through the uh, the fermented mushrooms pretty fast, which is kind of to be expected. Um, I also just realized that this allows me to keep pumping water up here, which is awesome, keeping our water topped off. Man, this, uh, this turned out to be a nice little build. Um, actually did a lot more than I thought it would. Stored a ton of water which is really nice. So let's just keep this going. Excuse me. And we will dynamite that out. Perfect. Um, and then let's see. We're going to need dynamite in here. We also need dynamite here. So let's get rid of that. Let's put in a double dynamite there. Get that built. So how are we going to dynamite this. I think the easiest way to do it is we do singles here. So this is what we're going to need. We're going to need not this one. We're going to need that dynamited out. And then all of this is going to go down to ground level here. Let's get rid of that. This will be a nice little like step. Let's see, actually. So this is two deep. This is three deep. And this is three deep. And then this is going to be three deep. Yeah, that's a nice little symmetry. This is technically three if we include the, the triple floodgates, but, you know. I don't think it's worth me dynamiting this out just to make it... I think it's going to look nice. Put it that way. I think it will look nice. All right, so this dam is coming along. That's great. Let's check our water level. Uh, we do need to release a little bit more water. So let's go ahead and do that. Just release a little bit more. 
we'll wait for this to overflow and then that'll be our our cue to shut off the water again so there we go shut that off let it continue to overflow just a little bit just kind of top this area off um, i would love to start dynamiting this out so we can get more water stored down here but that is such a future problem it's just we don't even need to think about it right now all right so let's finish the dam and then let's start on the dynamite that'll be our progression so let's see if we come back over here how are they doing for wood they're actually doing really good they're actually doing really good for wood um, this is just kind of taking a while because they're just, you know, they're building one at a time. It is what it is. They'll, they'll get it done eventually. And then this will provide a great, a great drain for our, uh, for our bad water. And we'll just send it right down here where all of the other bad water goes. And I think for now, that will be a good solution. Okay. How are we doing with our mushrooms? Uh, you know. They're coming along quite slowly, actually. Um, definitely need a lot of these. Might even go like one more level up after this, because that would be nine, that's 11 right now. So we might end up needing more than that. And this little farming district should be quite nice, actually. And honestly, I could probably get even more farms over here if I just diverted this bad water entirely. Um, and then maybe opened up this dam that we just spent so much time building. I could actually probably get a lot of growable area over here. Yeah, we could actually do that Ag again. That is a later, that is a later problem. Definitely a later problem. Luckily, our kohlrabi is pretty much fully stocked. So that is good. That is good. All right. So the dam is coming along quite nicely. Let's go up here and check how they're doing here. They're actually doing quite well. Um, we can detonate this. And I actually wanted to do that because I want to get platforms in here to allow them to uh, dynamite out. So let's get that built. And then I want all this dynamite done, even though not really a, a huge priority, um, but I'm gonna treat it like a priority. Okay, so then these go out one. Um, and then they'll come out like this. Just like that, nice and symmetrical again, which is what we want. We want them to be nice and symmetrical. Add some stairs coming down with a path. And then we're going to have to get rid of this tree, this tree, and then all these trees. Is there a way that I can get a path back here to accomplish that? Yes, there actually is. So let's do that. And let's mark all of these trees or demolition and then let's also get some stairs up here so we can get rid of this tree and then I guess some stairs up here so we can get rid of this one like that and let's get all of this built so let's get rid of this let's get rid of all of this let's get rid of this tree this is way easier than having the, the beavers up top do it from up there. All right. The dam is almost done. Let's see how our water is doing. Uh, we do need a little bit more water. So let's just top this off, probably, hopefully for the last time. Because there's only one more day. Um, and even then we have a ton of water up here, which is good. So let's get this going. Got a little bit of an overflow. I'll let it overflow just a little bit more just so we know that we're maxed out on water. 
then we'll set that to two and a half, and we will open this and drain all of this water and let it fill back up this, uh, this main reservoir. That actually is giving us power, which is pretty cool. Tons of power. It's only temporary, though, because this water will run out. But I think we're doing pretty good. All right. So the dynamiting is continuing. Is this... Oh, it's not in range. Well, that's okay, I guess. I can build this platform. Um, these platforms are no longer necessary, so we can get rid of these. And then is there storage? No, we don't really need it. So let's get that done as well. Hopefully these beavers come over here once they're done with this dam. And they are almost done. They are almost done. Which is awesome. And they're actually starting on the dynamite, which is great. Um, although they should be coming over here to remove a lot of this stuff. And build the uh, the stairs, which are of questionable questionable use. Oh, and I realized, I just realized why they're taking longer to build this side. It's because this dam is a lot taller than this side. That is good to know. Um, and then, okay, so now, yeah, we need these trees removed to continue the dam project. And that's okay. That is okay. The mushrooms... Are, uh, they're not quite saving us, but they're certainly not hurting either. And the water has returned, and man, that almost filled this reservoir. So that's that's pretty good to know. We essentially almost have two reservoirs worth of water now. Which is pretty good. Pretty good, quite honestly. And we can get ready to turn this off, because the power is about to start up here, which is good. And uh, we can prep that by getting a couple of these running. I actually just realized these ones should be paused. Do we need gears? Yeah, let's get some gears. We can get some explosives going as well. Mine as well. How are they doing for explosive storage? Not terrible. Um, you can always, can always get explosives. Although we don't have a ton of bad water. So, you know. All right, 21 vacancies here, 21 up top. So, fairly even split. Fairly even. And now that these are running, they're probably getting no power. Yes, that is correct. But luckily, this water will show up here anytime now. And we should be pretty good to go. All right, so this dam is built. Excellent. That is awesome. So that's going to give us a ton of water storage over there. And then the dynamiting can continue up here. Um, what did I say? So we're going three deep. So one, two, three. Yep. So this whole area will be dynamited to the ground. So probably going to need triples. Triples, I think. One, two, three. Yes. Triples. So this all needs to be triple dynamited out. Um, and I guess we could just start with the single right here. And we'll just kind of have to figure out how we're going to get to all this. It will probably involve a series of platforms and or stairs. Um, but that's okay. And speaking of platforms, if we get a couple platforms there, that will allow this dynamite to be placed. Excuse me. That will allow this dynamo to be placed. Okay, so the water has arrived, which means we have tons of power once again. So we can pause this. And how are we doing on our demand? Totally fine. Okay. All right, so the beavers should be working over here. Getting this stuff removed. Go ahead and start dynamiting this out. Can that be reached? No, it cannot. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. Let's see. This can be reached, though, which is good. So let's get a triple in there. 
and then double dynamite in here. That will be good. And go ahead and dynamite this away. And unfortunately, man, this one just can't be reached. Okay, that's uh, that's not a problem. Well, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> it is kind of annoying just because of the way that this is, but that's okay. Let's get rid of this. Um, they're going to put dynamite in here. We can get rid of these stairs, but we are going to need a set of stairs coming up here. To get that dynamited out, so let's get all of that done. I just want this to be prepared for the next bad tide, because I think that that would be good. All right. Has the water made its way all the way around? It has. It's filling up this reservoir. It should overflow any second now. There we go. Which should allow this to fill up, and then it should allow this area to fill up, and then we are in business. Uh, is this enough dams? Yeah, probably, because I, I don't want this to overflow. I don't want it to be weird. And overflow, because that would just be, you know, that would be weird. We don't want things to be weird. Um, I do think, for continuity's sake, I am going to put one dynamite there. Totally not necessary. Let's get rid of all that. Uh, do we need either of these? No. So there's really no use in them coming to do this. But when I say for continuity's sake, what I mean is now we can put a levee in here. See, and that just looks so much nicer. Now the whole thing is levees. We don't have to worry about building on the land, which is just so unsightly, you know? All right, and then we go right in there, and then stairs coming down. And then I think what we will do is put some lamps. No, 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 no. This needs to be beaver statues. Or should it be beaver busts? I just really like the beaver busts, so we're going to go beaver busts. Just because I think that that looks better. Alright, let's get rid of this. And these. And those. Perfect. We are waiting on this dynamite to be placed. Um, which is hilarious. But anyway, guys. I think this is going to bring us to the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely consider leaving a like and a comment. Look at this. The water is filling our dam area. We can start to plant more stuff once we dynamite this away. And this. Mainly this. And then we'll get started on the farming. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, definitely consider leaving a like and a comment. Subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on this series as well as others. And then I haven't been mentioning it lately, but I probably should. Uh, there is a Patreon link in my description below. Totally not necessary, but if you feel like uh, supporting the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. So have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.